everybody. Welcome back. Happy Monday. How's your week going? I don't know. She started, so pretty good, right? Today, I would like to share with you my updated skincare routine. This is the second routine from this year, and I think you guys can tell my skin's looking awesome, so I think it's working out. So let's take a look at the products. When I wake up in the morning, the first product I use is to wash my face and oftentimes this is in the shower and I use the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Purifying Foaming Gel. It says it's soap free, paraben free, pH balanced for skin, non-comedogenic and tested on acne prone skin. And really it's just like super gentle, good for sensitive skin. Um, I probably do it once a day, and the next time I wash my face, it's water only. After I wash my face, usually in the morning, but I'll talk about this a little bit more, I will use my Stridic Salicylic Acid Pads. These are alcohol-free, and I have the maximum bottle. It says it's easy on skin and tough on acne, and they look just like the old-school Noxzema pads that... I used to use back in junior high in the 90s, so pretty cool. Um, it takes a couple minutes to dry. I use it all over my face, but especially on my chin area where I tend to get a little bit of like oil buildup or texture buildup, and it seems to do pretty good at keeping that away. Following that, to moisturize, I will either use my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This is for normal to dry skin drugstore. It's got ceramides and hyaluronic acid, non-irritating, non-commodogenic, cheap for the bottle. If I don't use my CeraVe, I will go to my desk where I have my Vichy Mineral 89. This is a like boosting serum type thing and I'll follow that up with the Vichy Aqualia, Aqualia Thermal Light. Um, I actually got this scent from either Influencer or Chick Advisor, so I'm just using them up anyway. You can see I'm almost done the moisturizing cream. And these do have a scent, so maybe not as non-irritating as the CeraVe, but they seem to do a pretty good job with moisturizing my skin. Once I'm moisturized, I put on my makeup and go about my day. And then at the end of the day, I pretty much repeat these steps. To take off makeup, I've been really enjoying using this Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I got in a boxy charm. And prior to going in with the Green Clean, I'll usually go in with my Bioderma. Talked about this stuff a lot before. This is the pink top one, which is for sensitive skin, so there's no fragrance or anything. And it's just a makeup removing my cell solution. You don't have to rinse it, but I do always rinse it. And then if I have stubborn mascara or anything left over, I will go in with the Green Clean Cleansing Balm and, you know, just help remove any stubborn makeup. Usually at that point, I will just rinse my face with water. But after I have rinsed my face, I'll go in either either with a Stridex pad or I'll go in with this Pixi Glow Tonic, which in the past I feel like I would have used it as a toner, but I really use it as an exfoliating lotion once a day, usually in the evening. And it says it just gently exfoliates to remove dead skin, revealing the healthy glowing skin. Again, alcohol-free and hypoallergenic. So. In a day, I will either use my Stridic pads or my Pixie, but not both, just one or the other. And I think it's done a great job at keeping my skin nice and clear, the acne at bay, the sebaceous filaments around my chin and nose area quite empty. I have really been enjoying the skincare routine and I think, I think it shows in my skin. After that, at night, I will use some more CeraVe moisturizing lotion and I'm good to go. One other big, big change is last time I did a skincare routine, I was taking um, birth control pills, but now I'm actually on the birth control patch. So this is Evra. I think it's a slightly different hormone formula. 
Um, I told my doctor that the birth controls pill were making me a little bit emotional and crazy. So she suggested we try this out. And I think it's actually been pretty good for my skin. If you've never seen a birth control patch before, these are what they look like. Just a patch that you stick on your body, kind of like a smoker's patch or something. And then you change it once a week and once a week you don't wear a patch at all. You're just kind of like, it's like the week where you take your sugar pills so you just don't put a patch on. And uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying the patch. I think my hormones have been good and I haven't been too crazy. So I'm really liking it. I would definitely say if birth control pills don't fit for you, maybe ask your doctor if there's anything else you can try. The last thing I'll mention here is for my dry lips, I've been testing out the Lano Lips 101 ointment, which I've really been enjoying. I picked it up from Sephora based on some other recommendations, and it seems to be really, really nice. Uh, it's nice and thick. It's kind of like Vaseline, Vaseline, but maybe a little bit more heavy duty. It feels a little bit more moisturizing on the lips. Maybe it's all that lanolin in there. But yeah, I really like it. Anyway, guys, that is my skincare routine for fall 2018. As far as I can tell, I'm going to be extending this routine into the new year. Obviously, I'm almost done the Vichy Aqualia Thermal, but I'll just be switching back to normal CeraVe. One of my patrons, Judy, was asking about not washing your face. And from what I've seen online, not washing your face can be really good. Apparently our skin, uh, at least according to skincare addiction on Reddit, has what's called a moisture barrier. And if you're too aggressive with washing your face, then you can actually destroy your moisture barrier, barrier and irritate your skin more. Mom, I know you've always said it, don't overdo it. And yeah, I think it's working out for me by not overdoing it. So I would recommend you guys Maybe concentrate about only washing your face once a day as well. Maybe in the morning to cut out all the grease or maybe in the evening to help remove all your makeup, whatever works for you. And the other AM or PM, just rinse with water and see what happens. It's really been working well for me. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more video content from me. I do new beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Huge shout out to my patrons who help bring this content to you guys. A huge thanks to YouTube for watching. Hit me up with a Christmas card or a postcard via the snail mail. My address is down below. If you send me a snail mail, I will definitely return the favor and mail you something back. So yeah, send your Christmas card on the way. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next beauty video. Bye.